Oh no. <gasps> I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. That was so close. Barry! Ah, ah, no! Danny, you're not! Ah, please! Ah, what, what are you? What are you? Ah, no! Don't! I'm sorry! Ah, 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 ah. I know you. You were in jail the other day. I used the drunk. I went to the farm again for the moonshine you know it makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it they're in the loony bin but my buddy danny i lost him something's gone wrong with him it's not him like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie the best friends suddenly the bad guy who who wrote this crap anyway oh shit rest in peace <laughs> i've run through every possible course in my head if I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Ooh. Is Zane the uh, Jesus light that keeps talking to us? we can use that pickup truck okay the front door was locked i could climb out through the broken window the farm was still a good distance away i'd need a car to get there fast yep sounds like a plan if barry wasn't up here he was probably in trouble down at the farm for a moment i felt bad for doubting him after all, I made it this far myself, but Barry was Barry. Never leave a coffee behind. There's another little cabin there. Let's have a look. Worth it.
it's uh, could have carried up up that road and it would have brought us back round, I think. Oh shit, I was looking at that and crashed my car. Fuck. Oh, well, there's fireworks. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Flashbang, the beach. I'll set those off. Here we go, that's better. There we go. Five weeks going off in the back.
Oh, good timing. I think I was just about to drop then. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. <laughs> I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. So let me go switch this switch, move whatever that is blocking the door. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Ooh, uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff! They must have done okay for themselves, so how come I never heard of the. Uh, Old Gods of Asgard, 75 Ragnarok Tour, be awed by Celestial Wrath of Fury. Pretty cool band name and all that, though. Pretty sweet. All right, let's see what the switch does. Where are you, Barry? Yeah, there's a crazy dude. Oh, he went into the electricity. Nice. So close to dying then, oh my god. Okay, what the heck's this wow. contraption? Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Oh wait, do we actually get to drive this combined harvester?
Oh, I bet we've got to fight it. I bet it comes to life as we go out here. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I'll be safe behind here. <gasps> Maybe not. Oh, God. <laughs> that ragdoll. See ya. Let's go, man. Open this gate out. It's pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. Valhalla. We should feel right at home then. Come on, Barry. Let's do this thing. Yeah, this is a nice house. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome! Ah, oh, there it is. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be, what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right, must be. Here we go. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? I'm sorry, man. No, seriously, because... I know we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? You're a crazy bastard. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. 
I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. My ghost? Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. No! It was a crazy Alice! drunken dream. Help and yet, me! it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. Alice? I remember being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remember thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <gasps> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Been easy prey. There's that bitch. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Wait, Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed ah! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Okay. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. She talking to me? I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. 
Even with the cobwebs she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I will hear. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my heart a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Fuck her up, Zayn! The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. What the fuck?